Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a very special video. That's right, my Q&A. I was always excited to make a Q&A, and here we are. Special thanks to everyone who had given me the questions. I really appreciate it, guys. And now that we have our Q&A settled, it shall now commence. So let's start with our first question from Dynamicsaw, aka Torbon. Why did you come up with the name Prehistoric Rager, and who do you think was the apex predator of the Jurassic, Sorophaganax, slash Allosaurus Maximus, or Torvosaurus Gournay? The reason why I came up with the name Prehistoric Rager is because of the two words Prehistoric and Rager. Prehistoric, you can pretty much guess, because, I mean, I am a paleo nerd, I am a paleo YouTuber, and I'm in love with prehistoric life. Like, I love it. It's my passion. And then the word rager. I like the word. It sounds good. And I'm going to be honest about this. It's also because I am kind of a rager. Like, I would scream like a maniac. Like I did in the video of the rake. Where I literally lost my mind as soon as I saw the rake. So yeah. And also, when you combine those two words, prehistoric and rager, they sound quite nice. Like, prehistoric rager. Sounds nice, doesn't it? And also, I would say that the Sorophagnax was more of a king of the Jurassic than Torvosaurus Gournay. Despite Torvosaurus Gournay being larger and probably being able to beat the Sorophagnax more in a fight, the Sorophagnax still had more theropods to deal with than the Torvosaurus Gournay. So, like, it would have, like, been able to assert its dominance more. So, I would say that the Sword of Fagonax is more of a king. For now, obviously. Now, from Crook Pro to Spinosaurus, what is your favorite food? Which country are you from? And how would you rank the Jurassic franchise? My favorite food is meat, specifically steak. Also, where did I come from? Well, where am I from? I am from Canada, which I'm sure some of you already know. When you saw my Tyrannosaurus vs. Stegosaurus video, when I called Scotty a fellow Canadian. And I would rank the Jurassic franchise like a well deserved, big, solid, fresh A. Despite Jurassic World. Fallen Kingdom and Dominion not being the best, they were still nice in my opinion. And Jurassic Park 1, 2, and 3, and the first Jurassic World movie, they were pure perfection. So good. I just love that franchise. Next from Richard Ed, 666. Is that how you say it? I think it is. Favorite dinosaur, and if you discovered a dinosaur, what would you name it? My favorite dinosaur is the Cryolophosaurus, because it's not a small animal, or not a big one either. And it has this amazing crest, which is like, so good. Like, it looks so good with that crest. Like, it's indescribable. In like a very very good way. And this animal was also discovered in Antarctica. And there is still so much that we still don't know about the Cryolophosaurus. And if I discovered an animal or dinosaur, I would name it by its country, like Canada Dawn <laughs> or Canada source. <laughs> no, not that. Canada source doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, but also, like, 
in the place where they were discovered, like a province or something, or by its looks. Because, I mean, many people have done that. Or name it after someone. Next from it's Sandra 366. Favorite herbivorous dinosaur, favorite carnivorous dinosaur, favorite aquatic dinosaur. Okay, it's it's actually marine reptile. But I mean still. I, I, I pretty much understand what you mean. And favorite ice age animal and favorite paleozoic animal. My favorite herbivorous dinosaur is the Shantungosaurus. I'm sure you guys already know that. Well, some of you already know that. After watching my second uh, episode of my channel, I mean video, sorry, of the Shantungosaurus and how I talked about it. And then, favorite carnivorous dinosaur, Coralophosaurus, like, uh, like I said. And then, favorite marine reptile. That would be the Liopleurodon and the Platycarpus. Like, those two animals are tied as my favorite prehistoric, I mean, marine reptile. Because, like, Platycarpus is unusual. And there's still so much that we haven't known about it. And I've been a big fan of those animals. Ever since I played Jurassic Park Builder. And pretty much the same thing when I saw Walking with Dinosaurs for Fly a on. Plus, it is an amazing animal. Then, my favorite dinosauric animal would be the Arctotus. Because, like, I saw it on Prehistoric Predators. Like, it was the very first episode that I watched. And as soon as I saw the short-faced bear on screen, it was love at first sight. Like, I, I just began to, like, become a fanboy of that animal. And then my favorite Paleozoic animal would be the Innostrand Zevia because it's got those amazing fan fangs, sorry. And when you like add animal lips into the mammal like reptile, it looks so much better. And this animal also lived in both hemispheres, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, which we discovered that information this year, not long ago, which is awesome, and there's still more to learn about it. Next, from Theropod to Theropod, do you wish humans never evolved and dinosaurs were still around? I'm going to be dead honest about this, I kind of do. Like, sure, I do love some people including you guys. But I mean, also, dinosaurs, in my opinion, are the true marvels of nature. So, yeah, kind of. Next, from the GB Zard. Do you like speculative evolution? And if so, which ones are your favorites? I'm personally a fan of Serena and Tales of Kamir. Well, I do love Kamir as well. He looks quite nice with the animals of the future. And I am also a fan of Afterman, which was the cause of another one that I love, The Future is Wild. I love that series. And believe it or not, I was actually planning on making a speculative evolution video, which, yeah, quite amazing, I already have some animals that I've come up with. Next from JX1Storm, what's your favorite animal, what is your opinion on prior extinction, and what's your favorite bird or mammal? My favorite animal is the Crylophosaurus, because dinosaurs are animals, but like, modern animal, that would be the anaconda, because 
I am a fan of snakes. Like, I really, really love snakes. And the anaconda just look, it looks so amazing. Next, the other one was, um, my opinion on prior, prior extinction. I played prior extinction, and I don't know why I didn't videotape the gameplay, but it is so much better than Dinosaur World Mobile. Like, we have, like, Kong of Editor, uh, Pachycephalosaurus and all the other animals. And they look so amazing. Like, I love the designs. I like the music. And they can turn into, like, babies and then grow into adults, which is amazing. And then my favorite mammal and bird. My favorite bird would be the shoebill because of its head. It looks so amazing, including that beak. And then the jaguar. Obviously, I'm going with Martin Day. The jaguar is, like, an amazing animal. There's even the black-spotted jaguars. So, yeah, that's another reason. And also, why not? And then, another question from Dark Serato. A.K.A. the Dark Ceratosaurus. How well are you coping with the? <laughs> How well are you coping with the breakup? Okay, so pretty much this is a a joke Dark Serato and I came up with, which started in the video of eight animals that can defeat a Tyrannosaurus, and like Dark Serato said that I sounded like a seventeen year old who's like on the verge of tears after a breakup, and then as the videos kept going. Like, he was talking about how the breakup was overcoming me, which was hilarious. Like, we joked about it, like, a lot. So amazing. Then, is there any animal, including dinosaurs, that you genuinely dislike? And what kind of music do I like? And would I rather fight a one-horse-sized duck? Or 100 duck sized horses. Okay, I am doing very, very well with the breakup, as you can see. Um, I don't really dislike any animal or dinosaur because I don't really see the point of disliking them. My, my favorite music. Well, I mean, I do like, like, almost every music. Well, not some certain ones, like Baby Shark. No offense to the ones who like Baby Shark. But, I mean, my favorite, my favorite kind of music, like, the music that I like the most is Funk. Which, specifically, uh, KSLV no, because, in my opinion... His music just makes him, like, uh, a funk genius. And then, the other one. Would I fight a uh, horse-sized duck or 100 uh, duck-sized horses? I would fight the... I would fight the horse-sized duck. Because, I mean, I would love to get beat up by a giant duck. Like, I don't know why, but I just feel like it. Next, from Comptignatus09. I have a couple. Sorry if it's annoying. It is nowhere close to annoying. It's actually very, very good. What is your favorite dinosaur? Why did you start videos on dinosaurs? Where did you gain your love for prehistoric life, and what is your favorite animal for the place to see in Australia? My favorite dinosaur is once again Crylophosaurus. And why did I start making videos about dinosaurs? Well, I mean, I do want to entertain people. And, I mean, I want to show some actual facts about 
prehistoric life and to show how beautiful that time was. And also, I always wanted to become a YouTuber. Next, where did I gain my love for prehistoric life? I gained my love for prehistoric life from prehistoric predators, walking with dinosaurs, walking with monsters, bizarre dinosaurs, um, dinosaur toys, and as soon as I saw that stuff, it was love at first sight. So amazing. And then, my favorite animal from Pleistocene Australia was the Dinornis, because it's like a giant cassowary, but in my opinion, a thousand times better. Because it was bigger and taller and more strange and all that. Next from Peter Bernal, 2562. What is your favorite Disney movie and what's your favorite prehistoric mammal? My favorite prehistoric. Oh, wait, no. My favorite Disney movie is Mulan. Because, like, it was funny, there was some amazing action, John Yoo was like the John Wake of the movie, and then my favorite prehistoric mammal was obviously the Dark Totus, and that is the end of the Q&A. Thank you all for watching. Thank you guys so much. Like, I'm dead honest about that. Like, I'm I'm dead serious. Uh, hope you have a good day. Love you guys to death. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.